Here's a custom fixture we've uh, done for a uh, client in Barrington. It's basically 60 LEDs with our solderless connectors, uh, 24 cool white and 36 royal blue. The uh, cool whites are in uh, two parallel strings of 12. The royal blues are also in two parallel strings of 12. We have them connected with a simple butt trip connector. That's all UL approved. And the uh, end, we have a 5 watt, 1 ohm resistor tied to two 1,000 milliamp fuses. In the event of an open in the circuit, uh, one of these fuses will blow and uh, protect our LEDs in the event we have an overcurrent or a uh, break in one of the wires. Here we have the volt meter set up to measure voltage across our resistor. We have the negative to the negative side of our uh, driver and the positive to the uh, input to the LED. This is measured across a 5 watt 1 ohm resistor. Uh, currently we have uh, zero reading right now for voltage drop. I'm going to plug in our driver. It is now set at 1.5 volts DC and you can see that we are running 0.1 volts uh, drop across the resistor. This is basically 100 milliamps going through the circuit. Now we're going to dial our controller up. This is 6 volts DC into our uh, ELN 60-48D and you can see that we're measuring 0.55 volts drop. This is equivalent to 550 milliamps, well within the range of the Cree XRE. Now we're going to put it to 9 volts DC and we have an astounding 850 milliamps or 0.85 voltage drop across the resistor. This is rather unusual because the driver is rated for 1.3 amps. This is two parallel circuits. Uh, technically 1.3 amps divided by 2 should give us 650 milliamps for both strings. However, uh, as you see it from our measurements, uh, this driver is capable of a lot more. This is why we always recommend you adjust your drivers when you install them, especially if you're running XPGs. As uh, 0.85 times 2 would give you approximately 1700 milliamps, which is well above the uh, acceptable range for the XPG and the XPE LED.